South Dakota kicks off our live programming this Saturday with their home opener against Northern Colorado out of the big sky. Like South Dakota, Northern Colorado also dropped their week one matchup by just three points. The Bears lost 17 to 14 at home against the then 17th ranked, now 16th ranked team in the FCS, McNeese State. No, McNeese State is not Kansas State, but they are still a good team that beat another good team on their home turf. Add in the fact that it was a complete grinder of a game, which could be a unique contrast with how USD wants to play. You know, neither team moved the ball exceptionally well. I think uh, Northern Colorado's got a, uh, a really good defense, uh, a defensive scheme that's built around a physical front seven um, that will rival some of the front sevens that we see in the Missouri Valley. Uh, they got an experienced quarterback, a uh, very talented uh, wide receiver, and uh, that uh, will be uh, one of the uh, one of the things that's going to test us uh, defensively, maybe even a little bit more than we got tested uh, last week against Kansas State. Maybe even a little bit more than at K State. So proving yes, this is a good UNC team despite going three and seven last year. Of note, their QB went down halfway through the year. He's healthy now. With that, I have my three keys to the game for the Coyotes. Key number one: better balance. USD threw 56 passes against K State just 21 runs. They should be able to establish a decent run game against the Bears. McNeese State did. They only had 106 yards on the ground to UNC's 40 yards, proving that, yes, it was a grinder of a game, but they could run the ball. Be versatile. The pass is going to open up the run. The run's going to open up the pass. You guys all know how it works. Second key, work Wesley. This is Alex Wesley, their stud wide receiver, over 1,700 yards through three years and also 13 touchdowns at UNC versus McNeese State. He had 100 yards on three receptions. One of those receptions was 62 yards alone in that game. He surpassed 100 career receptions. He is now top 10 in UNC history in receiving yards. And then finally, key number three, ball control. USD versus Kansas State. The defense looked great. They ran out of gas in the fourth quarter. Everyone's talking about that. But you know what? You look at the time of possession, Kansas State owned that 38 minutes to USD's 22. Bob Nielsen talked about how this is going to be a grinder of a game. Well, in games like that, the defense that has to play less time has the advantage. Also, McNeese State jumped out to a 17 to nothing run or lead in that first half of their game against Northern Colorado and Northern Color Colorado rallied back, held them to a shutout in the second half, but uh, only scored 14 points. So sound familiar a little bit anyways, that is coming up at 2 p.m. live right here on Midco Sports Network on Saturday.